For those of you who don't know, today is International Women's Day. That's right, and here in Lincoln, we've got some pretty remarkable women to highlight. And Channel 8's Mackenzie Johnson spoke with three women today who are making strides in their career fields. Mackenzie. Studies show in the U.S. just over 15% of civil engineers are women. But here in Lancaster County, one woman is working to build a new culture with the help of her colleagues, and that's Pam Dingman. I think removing that barrier and just focusing on the qualifications have really led us to have a very successful, diverse workfloor. Lancaster County engineer and UNL alumni Pat Dingman says she was often the only woman in her engineering classrooms in college. I knew it's what I really had passion for and really loved, so I just stuck with it. Uh, the, the trail was rough and there was definitely some, some hard knocks for me personally, um, but, but I persevered. She's hired several women in her office two of which happened to be mother and daughter. Jenna Vogt says her parents were both engineers, which exposed her to the field early in life. It's really empowering to see role models, especially one being my mom, uh, excel in the engineering field. It's an interesting dynamic, and it is just really great to have her as a mentor outside of work, but also at work, to have her there to help me when I need it. Vogt says Dingman is the first woman she's worked under, and everyone in the office brings something valuable to the table. Her mother agrees. Here it doesn't matter if we're male or female, that we're just an engineer. And so we're respected for what we know, and, um, and that's a good feeling. Wilson says to encourage younger women to become engineers, their office has created a partnership with Lancaster County's 4-H Clover College, a workshop for children to learn about STEM careers. Just to see their eyes light up, um, we do try to do a lot of hands-on activities. It's exciting just to have that opportunity to work with a new generation, younger generation. Dingman has big hopes for the future of women's engineering and some advice for anyone considering the field. If this is your dream and your passion, pursue it with all of your might. The things that we're doing today are going to be around for another hundred years. And there's not a lot of careers that you could have where you have the ability to impact people's lives for a hundred years. I would love for, uh, for another woman in the community to take my chair someday. That would be awesome if we could continue to have uh, women engineers in the, in the role of Lancaster County engineer. Dingman was also the keynote speaker for U at UNL today for International Women's Day. All right, great story. Thank you, Mackenzie.